Now, Musab Hassan Yusuf, the disowned son of Hamas founder, tells the truth of Hamas. Born and raised into the horrors of Hamas, after years on the inside, he escaped and survived. Listen in as he reveals the truth of Hamas. The people of Gaza are oppressed for so long and they had to endure siege, they had to endure violence, many wars for the sake of Hamas lust for power and for Hamas political ambition. Masab Hassan Youssef knows Hamas better than anybody else. His father, Sheikh Hassan Youssef, was one of Hamas's founding leaders. They start a war every uh, few years. Whenever they want money, uh, you know, they uh, shed uh, children's blood. Uh, this is their game. Single misfire killed hundreds of refugees taking shelter at a hospital, and they blamed Israel. What are we talking about here? Israel is a democracy. Israel is accountable. Israel is not thirsty for the Palestinian blood. The Palestinian children, the Palestinian society has been hijacked by these criminals. And anybody who takes side, their side is participating in their crime. A message to Hamas. You risk the lives of defenseless civilians who entrusted you to govern them, not to use them as human shields. You lived in luxury while the refugees of Gaza starved. You valued your ideals more than you valued human life. Your useless effort has always been to destroy Israel, not to build a Palestinian nation. Unfortunately, now Hamas left Israel and the free world as well, with no choice but to fight them and put an end for their violence. Many civilians are dying, I understand this. Their blood is on the hands of Hamas and Hamas only. My colleague Shivarur continues to be live with us from Tel Aviv. Shiv, you earlier, of course, referred to those back channel conversations that were happening between Israel and Hamas, which were Qatar led since, of course, October 7. Now, these negotiations or these, this mediation effort is said to have been very slow paced. What exactly is happening and what are the roadblocks? Uh, look, uh, Qatar yeah, you know, has presented itself as a country that is mediating. It says it has been in touch with the Hamas leadership, Polomi. Uh, and they've basically said, uh, uh, at, least, uh, at least about 10 days ago, uh, the offer that had been put on the table before the Israelis is that if all Palestinian security prisoners, and there are thousands of security prisoners across at least 11 prisons in Israel, if all of them are released, that would immediately secure the release of the 229-odd uh, uh, hostages in Hamas captivity inside the Gaza Strip. That was immediately rejected by uh, the, uh, by the Israeli government. Uh, uh, cut forward another 15 days, another two weeks, because it's been over three weeks of this uh, of this crisis. That same offer is there on the table once again. Uh, the the back channel talks between Qatar. Uh, and an Israeli intelligence team. Uh, you know, uh, very little is officially known about the constitution of this team, who's talking, what they're talking about, where they're talking. They, it's, it's somewhere in Qatar, but we don't know where. Uh, uh, you know, seems to suggest that Israel, even at this late stage, even after nearly a month of this crisis, uh, 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 two things. It A, sees that perhaps Hamas does hold all the cards, even though it is intensifying a ground operation, and B, uh, uh, it is probably it is probably best to still uh, you know to still try and force some kind of a deal uh, because uh, the uh, Israelis know perhaps that even a ground operation whether you flank the Hamas whether you kill all the Hamas uh, leaders in Gaza uh, whether you uh, uh, you know continue to scale up your ground operation how that uh, you know, uh, directly impacts the hostage resolution uh, is very, very sketchy. It's very, very great. It carries a huge deal of, uh, you know, operational risks. There is no public appetite uh, to see death. There is a nightmare scenario in everyone's minds right now of seeing many of those hostages, uh, you know, uh, in, a, in a worst case scenario, either being killed in an airstrike or being killed by the Hamas. So the, the, the pitfalls, the very steep pitfalls on either side of this unfolding crisis are, are always extreme, Polomi. And that's the reason why I think 
uh, there is still an open window for some kind of a back channel deal what the you know the terms and conditions of that deal are going to be are at this stage unthinkable as far as israel is concerned because the minimum the minimum that the hamas is asking for is for the release of all palestinian security prisoners and remember these are these are not just civilians. These are many hardened Hamas terrorists who've been captured over the years. Uh, uh, you know, uh, blood has been spilt in their capture. Many IDF soldiers have lost their lives in operations that have led to their capture. And therefore, you know, selling that or explaining that or justifying that to the Israeli public will be another mountain to climb altogether.